have another Panamera here. The problem that most Panamera owners don't know, and it still surprises me why I get this question a lot. Maybe they're not informed, but what do we have here is we have all these ports taped up. Obviously the intake's been removed. And why that is, is we're about to do some carbon blasting. So what's gonna happen is I have these individual holes covered up because there's actually carbon buildup inside the valve. And every time I mention this to Panamera owners, they're just like stunned, like they've never heard of it. So let me show you guys that own Panameras. All right, it's kind of hard to see here, but you get the idea. Look how bad that is. All the intakes are completely carbonated. And if this is like your first time buying a Panamera, be sure the service is done because what's gonna happen is you're gonna start having issues. The R-Cats, which are gonna be your fuel trims, they're gonna run extremely rich because you have obstruction of air between the valves. And not only that's gonna waste your fuel, but you're gonna have cylinder wash. You should do this every 50,000 miles. This is what we see at 50,000 miles, but you wanna do it at least at 50. And there's no way to prevent this unless you put catch cans because this is a direct injected engine the valves never get washed. So once the, the crankcase AOS system, which is the oil air separator, vents all the moisture from the crankcase into the intake to reburn, that's why the carbon builds up on the valves. And this is why it's a problem with direct injection type vehicles. Even the 991s and up have this issue. The next one is the Macans. Macans also have this problem. So I hope now you guys will know what causes carbon buildup and how to get a service. Here's our carbon blaster, this is our setup. We're done carbon blasting, as you can see I got the tape taped up. This is all cylinders that were cleaned. Let me see if I can show you guys what that looks like now. Uh, so every single, this is like an all day job by the way. And I have these blankets here to keep this uh, media that we use. There's another big problem when you have the intake off. Replace your vent line. Here it is right here, routes under the rail, joins right here. These will split and break. I'll show you what that looks like just real quick. Macan has the same problem by the way. Here's one I just did, look at this. It's completely just disintegrating. And this will overheat your engine. Uh, this is on Panamera and uh, Macan, same thing. Six cylinders or V8s. No difference, same problem. Cayenne as well on the V8 cars, not the VR6. Or unless you have the GTS models or the newer Cayennes with the Macan engines, you'll have the same issue. But when you have it out, you might as well get all that done. So that's, that's what it takes. Now it's time to put the intake back in and this car is gonna have a very nice smooth idle.